Hello everyone, this is Snowblade's Mustack, and today we are here with another main association of mathletics problem, October 2013, meet 1, round 4, problem 3. Find the x for the following base equation. 212 base x plus 264 base 2x equals 166 base 3x. So I, I, you see the subscripts, I've signified this by an underscore on my Emacs here, because I can't do really different fonts. So I like to use underscores. So this is base 2x. As you can see, this is base x right here. And this is base 3x right here. So what are bases? Well, in like, if you don't know what a base is, then this is... Bases are really glossed over in high school mathematics, just like modular arithmetic is. I think it's touched on a little in middle school mathematics. I don't really know. I'm not really familiar with the common core. But it's, I do know that it's glossed over because it's not too important. Because usually, we're using base 10. That This is called a decimal number. You know, it's just a regular number. I could put an underscore 10 here to signify it's base 10 if we didn't know. But usually, people just assume it's base 10 because that's regular numbers. So what does that mean? Well, for, you know the different place values in base 10. You know 3, you know that 2, that signifies 2 times 10, and you know that the 100's place, that's 1 times 100. Now 1 times 100, 100 is 10 squared, if that's important to remember. So that's base 10. So let's say base 2. This is binary, which I also talked about in my last video. So this is a binary number. This is like what computers use sometimes. So what does this mean? Well, this means that we look at each place value from right to left. So this is the ones place. That's all the rightmost digit is always the ones place. So that's just one. And then that's a zero. So we don't count zeros because zero means nothing. So we, we skip over zero. But if we were to count it, this would be zero times two. Why? Because it's base two. It's not base 10. Because here, this is the tens place. Here, this is the twos place. So it's zero times two. So, as you can see, we have something like 10 squared, and then 10, and then, like, we could put a 1 here, which is 2 to the 0, or 10 to the 0. That's basically how a different bases work, except instead of with, um, instead of with 10, it's with a different number. So, like, right here, this is binary, so this is with a 2. So, let's keep going with this. Um, just for example. So, let's say this is the... Um, second most place from the ones digit, so it's two squared, though the fourth place. So that's one times two squared. This this is zero, so, but it's um two cubed because the last one was two squared. So we just keep increasing by one as we keep going left. Um, this is three plus one is four, so this is the four, um two to the four is sixteen, so this is the sixteenth place. So one times two to the four. This is zero, but it would be this is zero, but it would be um two to the five because four plus one is five. Two to the five is thirty two, but we don't yeah. And then this is the last place, two five plus one is six, so two to the six. So one times two to the six. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to figure out the value of this number in decimal. Because we, that's what we usually do to when we find the value of numbers. So we can get rid of all of the zeros. So zero times anything is zero, so we just get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so we're left with this. 2 to the 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 to the 2 squared is two, 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 to the 4 is 16. Yes, I've always said that. 16. 1 times 16 is 16. 2 to the 6 is 64. 1 times 64 is 64. 64 plus 16 is 80. 80 plus 4 is 84. Uh, 4, 84 plus 1 is 85. So this in, in decimal is 85. So these are the same number, except in different bases. So they're different number representations. This is binary in base 2, and this is in base 10, in regular number decimal. So one good thing to know is that um, w when... You have, like, base 2, you can never have 2 as a digit. Like, you know how in base 10, you can never have 10, ten as digits? That doesn't make sense. 10 cannot be a digit. It's 2 digits. Well, in base 2, uh, 1, 0, base 2, that's 2 in base 10. So, and that goes for all bases. So, 1, 0, base B, 
it's for some you know random integer b that's b for all bases so you can never have any number above b in a base so base 2 that's all zeros and ones because those are the only positive integers non negative integers above below 2 and in base 3 there's only one 0, 1s, and 2s, because those are the only non-negative integers below 3, and so on and so on, until we get to base 10, in which it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like you've been taught your whole life, and that's just normal. And then in base 11 and 12, we go on into letters, which is confusing, and we won't, we won't need to get to that, because here, we just have numbers, we just have regular digits. Except they're not regular decimal digits, because they're in different bases. To base x. So we figured out how to f find the value of a number in a different base like base 2, but how do we do that for a different base like base x? Well, let's say that this was base 3. So if this was base 3, then we started with the 1's place, 2. So that's just 2. See, that's just 2. Well, he's that is 2. Then we have the 3's place piece because it's 3 to the 1. So this is 1. 1 times 3 to the 1, uh, we'll just write 3, and then we have the 2's place, 2's, no, well, it's the second place from the 1's place, so, it's 3 squared, which is 9, so this is the 9's place, so it's 2 times 9, okay, or 2 times 3 squared. Now, here we have base x, we don't have base 3, we have base x, so we do the same thing, except instead of using base 3, we use base x. So this 1 times 3, that's an x. 1 times x is x. So that's just x. And two, th instead of this 3, this is an x. So this is 2x squared plus x plus 2. So that's how we get an expression like this into an al actual algebraic expression that we can really work with. So this is going to turn out to be a quadratic equation because these are all three-digit numbers in some base. And we need to... F solve this quadratic equation. Since it's three digits, then the power will never go above two because the second digit from the ones place to the left is always some, the base squared. So we'll never get to the base cubed. So that'll make this easy. We can just use the quadratic formula or factor. So let's do the same thing with 264. Now, we could use three as our example, but we that's since six and four are above three, we need to use seven. So we examine this, we say this is 4, that's the 1's place, so that's 4, and 6 times, this is the 7's place, 7 to the 1, so that's 7, and this is the 49th place, because 7 squared, so this is 2 times 49, or 2 times 7 squared. And we do the same thing, except instead of using 7, we use x. So, no, we use 2x, because this is base 2x, as you can see right here, this is base 2x. So we replace 7 with 2x. Okay, so what's 6 times 2x? That's 12x. Um, what's 2x whole squared? That's 4x squared. Because remember, we take 2 squared, and we also take x squared, and we multiply those together. 4x squared, not 2x squared. Remember that. And 2 times 4x squared, that's 8x squared. So we have 8x squared plus 12x plus 4. So that's this number. That's 264 base 2x. Okay, so we've found the left side of our equation. We just need to find 166 base 3x, which is our last number. So 166 base 3x. We'll use 7 our, as our base example again, because that'll work. So this is the 1's place, so that's just 6. This is um, the 7's place, because 7 to the 1. So that's 6 times 7. Oh, wait, sorry. 6 times 7, and this is the 49th place, 7 squared, so that's 1 times 7 squared, or we could just write 7 squared. So we replace 7 now, we replace 7 with 3x, because it's base 3x. So 6 times 3x, and 3x whole squared. Okay. So what's, times, what's 6 times 3x? That's just 18x. And what's 3x whole squared? That's 9x squared, because we take 3 squared and x squared and multiply them together. Okay. So, we've gotten our equation into a regular quadratic equation. Now, you see this? You see this? This is the same exact thing as this. We just need to solve x in... We just need to solve x in this quadratic equation, and then we're done. We just solve a quadratic equation. So, before we do that, we just need to add, like, terms right here. So, what's 2x squared plus 8x squared? That's 10x squared. What's x plus 12x? 
that's 13x. What's 2 plus 4? That's 6. So we've added those together, and then we bring this down. So, we have this. And we have. Now we need to, sub I'm going to subtract this. Um, okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This, because, uh, um, remember that these two things are equal. So, th this is the same thing, minus the same thing, except different in algebra, but they're equal because we set them equal to each other. As I'll s show the equation again. So, these two things, these two expressions are equal. So, if we subtract them by each other, they equal zero. So, we want to get a quadratic equation always in the form of something that equals zero. So, that's why I'm subtracting them by each other to get that something that equals 0. So, what's 6 minus 6? That's just plus 0. We can actually get rid of that because we don't care about plus zeros. Um, what's 13x minus 18x? That's negative 5x. Negative 5x. And what's 9x, 10x squared minus 9x squared? That's just regular x squared. So, we have x squared minus 5x equals 0. What's, we, can, we need to factor x squared minus 5x now. So, x, we can take an x out, and x minus 5 equals 0. So, either x equals 0, or x minus 5 equals 0, in which case, x equals 5. Now, x cannot equal 0. The reason for this is because there can't be a base 0. Always remember that. There cannot be a base 0. And even if there was, this wouldn't make any sense, because we have numbers above 0 in our digits, so, it can't be base 0. So, it has to be x equals 5, and that's our answer. However, now now we look back at our original equation, and we see that we have 6 digits, a 6 as a digit. So, how can that be possible, since we have a base 5, and there can't be a 6 in base 5? That's because this is 2x, so this is base 10, and this is base 15. So, now, I want to check our answer, instead of just le that That is our answer, x equals 5, we're done, we're done. If you had no time, you would get that right. We're done x equals 5. But we want to check our answer because we do have time. So, let's check our answer. So, we have 212. Actually, I'm just going to erase everything here. So, x equals 5. That's our answer. So, 212 base 5 plus 264 base 10. Now, 264 base 10, that's a regular decimal. So, we can just go to, we can just leave that as 264. That's regular. And 166 is base 15. So, let's figure out 212 base 5 first. Now, we have the 1's place. That's 2. We have the 5's place. 5 to the 1. That's 1 times 5 to the 1. And we have the 25's place. 5 squared. So, that's 2 times 25 or 2 times 5 squared. 2 times 5 squared, 2 times 25, 2 times 25 is 50, 5 to the 1 is 5, 1 times 5 is 5, 50 plus 5 is 55, 55 plus 2 is 57, this is 57 in base 10. So, I'll say that here, 57 plus 264 equals, and then we need to figure out 166 base 15. So, there is 6 is the 1's place, so that's 6. Um, 6, 15 to the 1 is 15, so this is 6 times 15 to the 1, and, well, 1, this is the 225th place, because 15 squared is 225, so this is 1 times 225, so, 1 times 15 squared, or 1 times 225, it doesn't matter, so, 1 times 225 is 225, 6 times 15 to the 1, 6 times 15, 6 times 15 is 90, 90 plus 6 is 96, 225 plus 96 is 321. So this right here is 321 in base 10. So is this right? If we add 264 and 57, do we get 321? That, that, that's how we're going to check our answer. So what's 4 plus 7? That's 11. So we got to carry the 1. What's 1 plus 6 plus 5? That's 12. Carry the 1 again. 2 plus 1 is 3, 321, would check, this is right. So, x equals 5 is the right answer. So, yeah. I, I really, you know, I like bases, I think they're really easy for me. I, I, I hope that, hopefully, this clears up bases, really, it's, like, if you have three-digit numbers, and you're adding up in different bases, it's really, this is really just a quadratic equation. That's it. It really boiled down to, I think, when we had it at the end, it was x squared minus 5x equals 0. That's it. Like, this is...
obviously it started out complicated, but yeah, that's it. it, it it's really simple. So yeah, I'm just gonna write this out in case just to show you how simple this was. Uh, uh, bases are very simple problems. I really don't want them to trick you up. Uh, I hope you do well on base problems. I hope this helps. And yeah, I thought this was a pretty good number three problem. Th there might have been harder problems in this round, but uh, this is all I'm going to do for number three because I thought bases and modular arithmetic are the th key things that aren't taught in school. So I wanted to focus on things that aren't taught in school because those are probably going to be harder for people to do. So yeah, I hope you liked this problem. Don't let bases trick you up. Don't let the base bugs fight. Hashtag funds. And have fun doing math.